We're looking at multiplying and dividing fractions. Um, not long ago, you should have hopefully looked at adding and subtracting fractions. You just need to remember that these are done differently. So when you are multiplying fractions, as it says in this top box here, it's nice and simple. You multiply the top and you multiply the bottom. So multiply the top to get 10, multiply the bottom five times seven to get 35. This next one, again, multiply the top. So your numerator, multiply denominator, get 60, three again. It can be simplified, you can have work simplifying it, but if it can't be, you can just leave it like that. If you get one with a whole number in, so six times two, six, with a whole number, we can write as a fraction by writing a one underneath it. Now you can multiply the tops and bottoms to get 12 over six which 12 divided by six is two. Like this one here, again, turn that into a fraction. So it's five over one times the top times the bottom to get 15 over seven, and then simplify that. How many sevens went to 15 will be two with one seventh left over. If you have got the ones with the mixed numbers and the change them to top heavy like we did with the fractions one times six is six plus you two is eight so i've got eight over six times by four eighths to give me times the tops and bottoms now 32 over 48 hopefully that should be simple enough have a go at these questions Again, pause the video here. And now mark your answers. All right, and that should hopefully nicely marked. <clears throat> Dividing fractions, remember the little saying that I've said in lesson lots of times, keep it, change it, flip it, which means keep it the same. So you keep it the same, change it to a times, Flip it upside down and time the tops and bottoms to get 7 over 4. Again, simplify if it's top heavy, it would be 1 and 3 quarters. Again, if you get 1 with mixed number in, change that to top heavy first. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus your 1 is 5. So 5 over 2. And so Again, let's just we'll do it all divided by two thirds. Now we can keep it, change it, flip it. So keep it the same, change it to a times, and flip it upside down. That is a three there. Very weird looking three. And now I've got 15 over four. Which again, if I simplify that, you know how many 15s are in that? which is three and three quarters left over. Again, dividing with a whole number again, just make that four over one and then keep it, change it, whip it, which would end up being eight over one when you multiplied it, which is just eight. Again, have a look at these questions. Pause the video here and have a go by yourself. And mark your answers. Excellent. If you do want some extra questions, there is some extra questions there that you can have a go at. If not, don't worry. If you've done the first two sets, that's excellent. Well done.